We are stepping into the final episode of my van build series. With all the planning and building finished, all that's left to do now is a few final little touch-ups and then I'm happy to say the build's finished. While I'm happy with the work that's been done on the inside, it doesn't mean anything if it's packaged in a shabby exterior. So I've gone ahead and done a few things to spruce up the exterior to make it look a little bit more tidy and well put together. With the van's new paint job and rubber bumper, I think the outside's looking much tidier. There's still one glaring thing that needs to go, the old stickers. I'm gonna be removing all the traces of the old stickers that came from the previous owner, with the exception of this one. The gentleman that I bought the van off said it meant a lot to him and was kind of a big moment in music history for Australia. So out of respect to him, that one's gonna be staying. I don't really mind it, to be honest. Stickers are gone. I think that looks a lot better to be honest with you. So now the next thing is what to do with this panel here. Now I actually spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with the final panel. I've considered leaving it blank, adding a window, maybe putting a mirror up. With that said, I've landed on putting up this little cork board here. I think it's a nice way of adding to the space without making it too busy. And it also gives the option of adding a little bit of a personalized space for you to put up photos, post-it notes, daily planners, whatever you feel like doing. So that's what I've gone with. I can run through any other ideas in the comments if you wanna have a talk about it there. I've left the liquid nails to dry for about four days, which means now we can remove the tape and this board should be all good to stay here. One of the glaring things that has always needed an upgrade since I did it in the first place is my table. Now that was something that I quickly threw together 10 minutes before going away for a trip and it was made out of offcuts. I'm still happy with the design, but I wanted to upgrade to some better wood. So that's exactly what I've done. My table has now been replaced from an old off car in the body panelling to a nice sheet of my bow. It makes a huge difference, feels a lot nicer and looks a lot more premium. Very happy with that. Now given that the Mitsubishi Express is a smaller van, I was really limited as to what areas were left over for personalisation once the bulk of the furniture was in. One of the few areas that I had to do something with was the side of this cabinet here. I ran through a couple of options I thought could work, maybe a planter box running somewhere down the middle or down the bottom, I thought about maybe a hat rack, but what I ended up coming up with I think is much nicer and really adds some personal flavour to the build. With the limited space available to do something with this panel, I've managed to fit in one more feature that I think adds to the van, and that is a super simple support for my longboard. You simply loop the first strap around the trucks, clips on like that, and loop the second strap around the body support there. Now that's nice and tight, that's not gonna go anywhere as I'm driving. This is quite a sentimental board for me, and so being able to fit it into my final build is something that I'm actually quite happy with. And it even manages to stay out of the way of the table so it can freely open and close. Now no video on final touches would be complete without a little bit of interior decorating. So I've gone out and bought some fancy cushions and a throw rug, and we're gonna go ahead and chuck them in the back now. With the addition of those items, I think that backspace looks a lot more homely now. I've also done my best to tie in the colour of the throw rug with the accents of the curtain. In what is a really dark and earthy van, I think the little splashes of colour do a lot to add to the space. To tie the bed in with the rest of the van and finish off this space here, I'm adding in a little rug. As you can see, it matches the same colours and accents that we've already used throughout the rest of the van. With all of these new additions, I can now comfortably say that the back section is now finished. So now with the back all finished, I'm going to run you through the few things I've done to tidy up the front. So we've got the new door cards fully installed. I've gone ahead and painted the grey handles into a black to match the rest of the van, as well as installing a passenger side switch for the electric windows. Inside the actual van, I've gone ahead and bought some RM Williams seat covers, as well as a matching steering wheel, just to make the space feel a little bit more classy and tied together. Now to make this front area a bit easier to clean, as well as not neglecting the space, Spent $15 on some car mats from Kmart, and I think that it makes the front area a little bit more cozy. 
The other notable feature I've done to this front console is taking off cuts from the floorboards I use in the back of the van and add some character to the cup holders and storage spaces and blend them in with the rest of the van as well. Now when it comes to electric windows, I've installed two little control panels here, meaning that you can operate both of the electric windows as you're driving from this side here. The final personalized bits in my front dash are two little sentimental items I've picked up along the way. This guy drives around up here as you're taking corners, as well as a spare USB and 12 volt socket for my passenger. That is the final touches of my van build, and old Dusty is ready to go on some trips. So there we go. With these final touches, that caps off my first ever van build. Now this is the part where I'd love to get some feedback from you guys watching. I'm very happy with the space I've created, but I want to know your opinion. I'd love to know what you like, what you think didn't work, things that you think could have been done a bit better, and what you might have done differently with this space. So if you have anything you'd like to add, feel free to drop a comment down below, and I'd love to take that feedback into my next build. With the finalization of this massive project, I'd also like to take a moment to say a serious thank you to everyone that's subscribed, supported me, followed along, given feedback, and shown me your van builds throughout this process. It's been a lot of long, lonely afternoons and weekends by myself, planning stuff going and buying materials and putting things together and so having that little sense of community on a channel and people following along giving feedback along the way has really helped it to feel less of like an isolated thing I'm doing and sort of giving me a bit of a community that I feel like I'm making the content for so really thank you so much I really appreciate it now the next video that I'm gonna drop is gonna be an all-out review of my setup and showing you all the little features I've built into it and sort of advertising the build as it's finished so if you came for that chuck a subscribe follow along and I look forward to showing off my work Thanks, guys.